Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Aum Kenneth and in today's video we are going into a topic of money. And before I say anything further, first of all, if you see this silver thing here, it's my laptop. I'm using it to like bounce this light off so that it's not too like this color over here, this brown beige thing. I'm also thinking of changing the board, but I haven't come to do that yet. I haven't gotten to that yet. So let's get into this video. So today we're going to be talking about the theme you're seeing on the title, right? And disclaimer, I'm not ending that yet. Like if I was ending, ending that, you guys, I'll be in Canada by now. So <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. But it's this video is basically to tell you what you can do or see what I'm planning to do currently to end that. And yeah, talk about like the tech ecosystem and the possibilities of tech. Now that we live in a very confusing time and we have the gig economy, the word, the technical jargon, gig economy, AI, autonomous, you know, being thrown around left, right, center. And to be honest, just only a few people are aware of this migration into the second industrial. Now I'm beginning to sound like a philosopher. But yeah, so what I'm doing to possibly earn a higher percentage or a higher income is learning how to code. So I already know how to um, maneuver WordPress and technical sites. I don't know what I'm speaking right now. So let me tell you what I know. I know WordPress, I know how to design Canva, I know a little bit about Android Studio. I could copy a template and replicate it on Android Studio, but I cannot, for multiple unknown reasons, understand Java. So I still do not know Android Studio. I just know the XML, which is very, very easy. It's like reading English. But for Java, it's, it's confusing and I don't know why that is because I've tried, like I've read how many dummy intros into Java since when I was in high school and it's still not just making sense. So after failing Andela multiple times, if you're in Nigeria and you probably heard of the word Andela, after failing to get in Andela multiple times, like it's a shame right now, um, I've come to, this, to the conclusion that I should just go into web development and start with like redo or refresh my memory in html css and just have a base like a very solid base in javascript you know understand those loops the conditionals um the arrays and whatnot and just have like a solid base on it because i don't have a solid base on any programming language i just double you know i'm of the mindset that if you want to do something you don't need to really go and learn everything from scratch you can just go on google copy a template, we edit it. You have to understand that I am from WordPress era, you know, so we did not do anything from scratch. There were teams and templates out there. So that is how I also um, started up my programming journey and I didn't learn anything from, ba from, from base and I was very adamant about it. But now I have come to like refresh that mindset, you know, change, relearning. So now I'm trying to get very good um, base on JavaScript on web development as a whole and see what I can do from then on. I'm a little bit discouraged because when it was with Android, I was so much eager in putting out the apps on the Play Store. And I was also lucky I was also making money from putting out apps on Play Store that I did not necessarily build from scratch, but just saw a couple of templates, edited them and make them to work for the Nigerian locale. And it seemed to work. And at one point, I think one app was bringing like $100 every month. And I was like, yeah, no more school. But that didn't work out as planned and it crashed. You know, Google said, you know what? <laughs> We're going to teach you a lesson in life. And yeah, that, that's a story for another day. So, but for now, I am serious on learning JavaScript. But like I said, the problem or the discouragement with JavaScript is that I cannot readily build a product. I mean, there are websites out there, but learning JavaScript for just the mindset of getting a job is not as, um, how would I put it? It's not as enjoyable as when I was learning Android, to be honest. 
But it doesn't help when you go on Twitter every day, tech Twitter, and you keep on saying statistics of fifty-nine thousand dollars, sixty thousand, six something thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars per year. And mind you, just high amounts are what is being paid to like senior dev, not um, junior dev. As a junior dev, you might just end up, especially if you're Nigerian, might just end up making anywhere around six thousand dollars per year to like twelve thousand dollars per year, averagely. It's not bad. It's not, honestly, it's not bad. I mean, one thousand dollars right now is almost four hundred thousand naira, four hundred thousand naira plus times ten, four million. You know, four point eight million in a year. Not really bad, you know. But still, yeah, nonetheless encouraging. But just learning JavaScript to get a job is not really as entertaining. But it is what that will give you. To, it what is what's going to give you the higher opportunity to earn better significant above nigerian average income and yeah that's what i'm doing right now so if you want to copy my steps or if you want to get on board um the website i can suggest to you or what i'm using right now i'm using introduction to javascript on udacity i feel like it's very very in-depth um freecodecamp.com is also a very good site but freecodecamp is not really as how will i put it i feel like i got certain basics from free to camp and when i switched over to udacity to restart again it was much more easier and i like the um examples udacity was given Fico camp is more like you know it's more timeline than you can see the step the step the step the step this you're gonna do so it does this kind of anxiety thing in my head that oh i can't wait to get to the next step but with udacity i can just get lost in it and the platform just works in a way but for critical camp i just don't understand what's happening to some extent it becomes like chinese like for the html and css it was fantastic sweet enjoyable but when you get past introduction to javascript in critical camp it's starting to be like chinese you know especially when you come to arrays and you know i'm bringing splice and splits and all those technical jargons into it it becomes quite tedious to be honest to maintain focus with free camp hence i started looking for a different platform to learn more and i started with udacity so yeah if you are interested in web development or you see it as you know something that entices you you could check out um introduction to javascript on udacity or free camp Critical camp is just more time and um, timeline you see your progress from starts so it's like a full package to interview but introduction to javascript will be limited after you pass lesson seven and you need to pay for like the nano degree course which i do not intend on paying for now you know because it's expensive but nonetheless um and if you get hooked you can always go back to a critical camp because it's just free and also donates to them on their platform it's not an ad by the way but yeah that is what i'm doing um see you in my next one peace Yo, people, okay. Do I need to look at my laptop? I do not know. Excuse me. Yo, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, I'm Kenneth. And if you're back here, we are big on consistency. And if you want to know, like, check out, check out my whiteboard. I have a whiteboard. It's not for me though. I'm just colonizing it at this point. But you can see read, you can see like JavaScript, you can see like YouTube. So today's video is all about like, as you can tell from the title, you know, I'm not even making that amount, like, let me be straight and plain to you guys. It's a possible amount that I'm a one they earn, you get. So, but this video is just meant to like showcase to you guys or go on the story about what I'm currently doing to end that.